Namaste. Welcome to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basnet. Dear viewers, let us now start the program with the main affairs of the day. Adikola Municipality has distributed avocado saplings to students of class 6 to 12. Avocados have been distributed free of cost to 2,000 students. In Kolpur Municipality Ward No. 4, it has been found that about six bigas of government land worth one arba was transferred in the name of 41 people. The Nepali government is asked to provide relief to the victims of coronavirus. If not, there will be protest rally against the government actions. And much more. Let us continue the program with the affairs of distribution of avocado saplings. Avocado originate in Mexico. With the global warming, this fruit has potential to grow in many places of the world. In Nepal, this fruit is becoming a popular cash crop. Since the fruit draws good cash, the farmers are thrilled to participate in the provision of this fruit. One village in Sengja decided to help the poor students to go to college by giving them avocado saplings. The aim is to make the students independent while paying for the college fee. This kind of program is very thoughtful for the economy of the nation. Adikola municipality has distributed avocado saplings to students of class 6 to 12. Avocado have been distributed free of cost to 2,000 students. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Adikola municipality has distributed avocado saplings to students of class 6 to 12. Avocados have been distributed free of cost to 2,000 students. The Adikola municipality of Sangja has distributed free avocado saplings to 2,000 students of classes 6 to 12 in 18 schools under the municipality. According to the village municipality, 10,700 avocado saplings have been distributed to each student at the rate of 5 saplings per student student and the school at the rate of five saplings per school. Due to its high nutritional value, avocado is in high demand in the market and can be used to earn a good income with a small investment and is also considered to be beneficial for the health. Village Municipality Chairman Sudhir Kumar Baudel said that emphasis has been laid on attracting students towards commercial farming from today to make them financially viable in the future. As the seedlings produce fruits within four to six years of planting, the seedlings have been distributed with the aim of enabling the students to pay their college fees themselves while studying in college, said Chairman Podell. Avocados start at 150 rupees per kg at the beginning of the fruiting season and go up to 500 rupees per kg by the end of the season. Avocados, which are rich in vitamins, proteins and fats, are considered to be beneficial for patients with high blood pressure, diabetes and heart disease. Bivek Acharya, an agriculture technician, said that cultivation of avocado seedlings in hilly area at an altitude of 400 to 1,700 meters above sea level is possible even in the climate of Adikola village. After the news report on avocado distribution, let us now talk about the affairs in Rupandehi. Lot goes on in Rupandehi, which is one of the Tarai districts of the country. There's encouragement for keeping cows in this district. The cows, which are considered holy by the Hindus, are not very popular in the hilly districts of Nepal. People do not want to keep the cows as the local cows give less milk and the Hindus do not eat the cows. The people are more attracted to buffalo keeping. However, the next report is on the government initiative to encourage the cow keeping business. The people will be given a sum to raise calves. We know that if such measures are not taken, the cows will disappear from Nepal. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. The Siari village municipality of Rupandehi has started an incentive program to raise cows. The village municipality has started the program as per the policy program of the fiscal year 2077-78 BS. The village municipality has decided to give a grant of rupees 10,000 to a farmer for raising a calf with the objective of increasing milk production. The village municipality has stated that the program has been brought to increase the milk production of cows as well as to remove the constraint of importing foreign cows. The municipality has allocated 4 lakh 
For the cow rearing program, there are 242 farmers in the municipality engaged in commercial animal husbandry. After the news report on cows, let us now talk about the affairs in Bangui. Land is very important for the people as that is where we exist. The people around the world want some piece of the earth to call their own. This is a very internalized human desire to be the master of his surroundings. God did make us the master of all creation after all. However, people go to extreme measures to own more land and more land. This next report suggests that people who already owned land imposed as squatters to acquire more land in Bangui. This is happening in different places in Nepal. In Kohpur municipality ward number four, it has been found that about six biga of government land worth one arba has been transferred in the name of 41 people. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. In Kohalpur municipality, ward number four, it has been found that about six bigas of government land worth more than one arba rupees has been transferred in the name of individuals by setting up fake squatters. It has been revealed that the public property has been maintained in the name of individuals after the District Land Revenue Office Bangi wrote a letter to ward office Kohalpur on 23rd Ashar asking them to collect the land tax from 41 people. It has been revealed that more than four because of government land on the left and right side of the road leading to Center Plaza in Kohalpur Municipality 4 have been transferred in the name of 41 fake squatters. Chief Land Revenue Officer of Bangi, Prem Bahadur Dulyal, said that the land adjacent to Mahindra Highway has been registered in the name of the squatters by the Squatter Commission. He said that it was transferred in the name of the person by the commission and added that it would be known only later whether it is right or wrong. <laughs> The names of the people in whose the land has been distributed will be known only after an investigation by the investigation committee. Chief of the District Administration Office, Banke Ram Bahadur Kurumwang, said that action would be taken if the land was distributed to people other than squatters. Even though the land is given to 41 people who are squatters or whomever, the Kohpur municipality chief, Lut Bahadur Rahot, said that the ward office building process has been completed in the place. <laughs> Uh, the commission had established the land in the name of 41 people on Chait 9, 2069 BS when Santosh Basnet was the chairman. The Butwal office in Nepal Ganj has also started investigation into the abuse of power. After the news report on affairs in Bangui, let us now talk about the affairs in Morang. 
In the modern time, the people produce more garbage than any time in the history of human race. When I was growing up, the people in the USA were speculating on sending the garbage to space. Garbage near homes bring loss of beauty and more importantly, loss of health. The people around the world are scratching their heads to manage the millions of tons of garbage that is produced. In Nepal, it is no different. Nepal is a small country and the land is limited. People are forced to live near stinking garbage. People in Morong are saying no to this ever-increasing garbage near their homes. Locals have protested against the dumping of garbage of five local levels of North Morong at the landfill site near the settlement. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Locals have protested against the dumping of garbage of five local levels of North Morong at the landfill site of the municipality of Badara in Morong Sundar Haranja Municipality 4. They have demanded to relocate if they want to build a landfill site. The locals of Badahara Sundar Haranja Municipality 4 of Morong were unhappy collecting the signatures of the locals saying that it would be a tourist destination and in reality making it a dumping site. Despite some protest at the beginning, the residents of Badahara were suffering from various diseases and stench as it was used in the garbage management of their own town. However, the locals have protested when they came to know that preparations are being made to build a landfill site for dumping garbage for five local levels of North Morang. <laughs> Locals say that it is not acceptable to bring garbage from four local levels while there is problem with it being dumping site of Sundar Harincha municipality only. The locals want to be relocated if the government wants to build a landfill site in the area. I am they say that the Sundar Haranja municipality is preparing to build a dumping site in a place where human waste is dumped along with human settlement, despite the law that the dumping site should be constructed at a distance of two kilometers from the human settlement and city market. <laughs> Dui kilometer for a bosti van that dui kilometer for a banana pernima, he had a bosti song or tashi or hunger banaidesa. Tis current legor da heri, Bolica dinba. Yes, Hamba, Esari Nogor Palicale, Kare Gorne, Boyovane, Escalagi, Yaka, Ami Basinda, Ami Yubaru, K or Nuporza, Koso or Nuporza, Road Masutera, Unzagi, Lodera, Unzagi, Ami Yo Bisema, Yo Bonda Gorne Bisema, Totpor Zora, Ami Sopejana, Ek Boda Vera Lagazo. The people's representatives of the municipality said that no decision has been taken despite the discussions on setting up a garbage processing center. Harka Bahadur Pariyar, executive member of the municipality, says that no decision has been taken despite discussions to build a state-of-the-art waste treatment center at the place where garbage is being dumped. When Damodar Chapagai, Chief Administrative Officer of Sundar Haranja Municipality, was contacted. He said that there was no plan to build dumping site in the area, but he was aware of the matter. When we tried to contact Shiva Dakal, the mayor of Sundar Haranja Municipality, he did not answer the phone. Meanwhile, Ward Chairman of Sundar Haranja Municipality, Ward Number 4, Sailendra Sreshta, said that there was talk of constructing a dumping site in the area, but the executive committee meeting has not yet decided. Reported by Elian Gachidar from Morang. After the news report, let us now take a small commercial break. Stay with Krishi Television.
After the commercial break, welcome back to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal. Dear viewers, let us now talk about the affairs of fertilizer shortage. With the lockdown, different areas of human life have been affected. The agriculture scenario is not different. The farmers are working with limited seeds and some say with no fertilizer. The Nepali government subsidizes the fertilizer for the farmers. This year, the government company says that there is no fertilizer in the storage. The farmers are saying that it is urgent that the fertilizer is available to increase the production in the country. We do not know what the near future holds. We're all waiting for the vaccine to arrive so that we can move about freely. We cannot say what will happen to the price of the food in the coming days. Due to active monsoon this year, farmers planted paddy on time. However, they have not been able to apply fertilizer in paddy due to lack of manure. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Due to active monsoon this year, farmers planted paddy on time. However, they have not been able to apply fertilizer in paddy due to lack of manure. Technically, to increase the productivity of paddy, urea fertilizer should be applied on the paddy 20 to 25 days after sowing. This is called tape dressing in technical language. But the farmers who are hoping for government subsidy manure have not been able to get enough fertilizer even at this time. The government body, Krishi Samagri Company Limited, which has been distributing fertilizer in different districts of State 5, Karnali and Far West, has a shortage of manure at its state office in Vairavaha. According to Punya Prasad Kimiri, head of the Vairavaha Agriculture Materials Center, there's not a single kilo of urea fertilizer at present. But DAP and potash fertilizers are sufficient. According to Chief Kimiri, it will take more than a month for the manure to arrive, although it is estimated that urea fertilizer will arrive by the end of Shravan. It is not possible to say so as fertilizer has not arrived in Kalta, Port of India yet, says the chief. Farmers are worried as production will decline this year as well due to non-availability of manure at the time of application. It was projected that about 7,000 to 8,000 metric tons of urea fertilizer would arrive in the first phase of state 5. However, manure has not been brought till the time of application of manure on paddy. Farmers in the districts bordering India, on the other hand, are forced to pay more and bring goods Illegally overnight, farmers have been suffering due to irresponsibility of the body providing manure, reported by correspondent Krishna Kanal from Budwal. After the news report on fertilizer, let us now look at the affairs and the export of Nepali coffee. Nepali coffee is liked by many people. Coffee, with its ability to awaken us for a day-long task, is also considered good for health. Nepali farmers around the country realized their coffee might be in demand as it is grown organically here. Nepali people realized that organic way of living is far healthier than with modern chemicals. Nepali production does not furnish the demand of the market right now. This means there is a lot of potential for the farmers if they invest in coffee production business. In the fiscal year 2076-77, 45 1,814 kg of prepared and raw coffee has been exported. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. In the fiscal year 2076-77, 45,814 kg of prepared and raw coffee has been exported. Nepali coffee has been exported to more than a dozen developed countries including Japan, South Korea, Singapore, Germany, Switzerland, Norway, USA and Canada. Nepali coffee is very popular among foreigners as it grows at an altitude of 800 to 1500 meters above sea level. Although the demand for Nepali coffee is high abroad, it has not been able to meet the demand. According to the National Tea and Coffee Development Board, Nepal produces 500 30 metric tons of coffee beans annually. Coffee has been cultivated in 2,761 hectares across the country in which 33,984 farmers are affiliated to. Although the market for Nepali coffee is good, its commercial farming system has not been developed. 
After the news report, let us now look at the discrimination in Nepal. It is found that Nepali government body has destroyed the homes of the very much socially deprived, according to the next report. The earth belongs to everyone and every animal here. We have natural birthrights to live on the earth and thrive here. No one has the rights to take away our land and our life. No one has the right to cause war because we are living and happy. We have the rights to believe what we believe. If the government of a country does not support the rights of the people, the government is not fit to govern the country. The Committee on Agriculture, Cooperatives and Natural Resources of the House of Representatives is investigating on the incident in Chiton. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. The Committee on Agriculture, Cooperatives and Natural Resources of the House of Representatives has condemned the incident of burning down the houses of the Chipang community of Chiton, Kushumkola and directed the government to take strict action against the culprits. A meeting of the committee held at Singadarwar on Wednesday directed to take stern action against the culprits saying that it was sad to demolish and burn the houses of those who were socially deprived. The meeting also directed the Ministry of Forests to provide necessary compensation to the victims of the incident. The meeting also directed to investigate the incident sensitively and work with the local community for the protection of the rights and interests of the locals in the coming days. The meeting also directed to manage the squatter settlements in the park and make necessary arrangements for them, said Puna Kumari Subedi, chairperson of the committee. <laughs> सामाजिक बिन बंसिती गरणमा परेका र निकुञ्जलाई नै आफ्नो जीवनको बाधाको माध्यम बनाएका यस निकुञ्ज वरपर बस्ने अव्यवस्थित बसोबासीहरुको समेत व्यवस्थापन गर्न भूमि आठौ संशोधनले संशोधन गरी भूमि समस्या भूमि सम्बन्धी समस्या समाधान आयोग गठन भई सकेको सन्दर्भलाई समेत मध्यनजर गर्दै निजहरुको कानून बमोजिम व्यवस्थापन during the meeting, Minister for Forest and Environment, Sakti Bahadur Basnit, said that the houses of Chepan community of Kushumkola in Chiton had been burnt due to the human error. Minister Basnit also informed the committee that the report of the committee formed by the Ministry of Forest to investigate the incident has not been received. Basnit said that it was unfortunate that the staff of the park set fire to the Chepang settlement in the middle of the rainy season while the land management work was going on. In the meeting, the committee members said that the government should protect the land rights of Adivashi and Japan. He said that the rights of the tribes should not be violated while protecting the national heritage. <laughs> A team from Chiton based National Park had demolished a house in the Chipang settlement of Madi Municipality 9, Kushumkola, on July 19. Accusing them of illegally residing in the park, the team arrived with elephants, demolished eight houses of the indigenous Chipang community, and set fire to two houses. After the news report on discrimination, let us now talk about the fears with relation to corona. The coronavirus has become a pandemic. The vaccine for this virus is expected to come out soon. People are working even amid the fear that is lurking in each corner. The whole world is suffering from economic crisis. 
people are asking the government to take action to provide some relief to the people who are suffering from the lockdown. Many students are not happy the way the government is working. Something like this has not been dealt with in the recent past. Everyone is new to this situation. Everyone should clearly think and know that as human beings we have limitations. The people in the government should not take advantage of the goodness of the people. The Nepali government is asked to provide relief to the victims of the coronavirus. If not, there will be protest rally against the government actions. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. The Corona Victim Struggle Joint Committee and Enough is Enough have warned the government if it is not sensitive to the corona pandemic and take steps to provide relief, there will be protest rally. They have said that they will be forced to join the movement if their demands are not met immediately. Coordinator of the Corona Victims Joint Struggle Committee, Vishnu Jung Basnit, said that he was forced to join the agitation as the government was not sensitive towards the corona victims. Enough is enough, said engineer Britant Kanal. He said that the movement may have to be intensified as the government has not presented itself responsibly. बरी साथीहरु बाटोमै बस्नु भयो र आज पनि हाम्रो माग दुईटा छ यदि क्लियरली तपाईहरुलाई भन्ने हो भने हाम्रो सम्झौता दुईटा विषयमा छ एउटा स्वास्थ्यको पीसीआर टेस्टिङको दायरा अर्को भ्रष्टाचारलाई चाहिँ नि नियमन गर्ने विषयमा तर सरकार बहिरो छ एकतर्फी मात्रै बोल्छ उ बहिरो छ हाम्रो कुरा सुन्दैन तपाईहरुलाई हाम्रो इनफ इज इनफको कोर टिमबाट they say that it is necessary to end the corruption and black market committed by the government in the wake of the pandemic. This is all in Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basna. Before I go, let us review the main affairs of the day. Adikola municipality has distributed avocado saplings to students of class 6 to 12. Avocados have been distributed free of cost to 2,000 students. In Golpur municipality, ward number 4, it has been found that about 6 bigas of government land worth 1 arba was transferred in the name of 41 people. The Nepali government is asked to provide relief to the victims of coronavirus. If not, there will be protest rally against the government actions. Thank you for watching Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with Minermala Basnit. I'll be back with more affairs next time. Till then, Jai Krishi, Jai Kishan, Samritta Krishi, Nepal Kushan.